Oh, good morning. Oh. It's uh, November 2, 7 o'clock in the morning. It's still dark out. I guess I got up a little too early. <laughs> uh, yeah, the outdoor market's probably not set up yet this morning either. We got there late last night. Still got the wheel I'm working on. Good stuff. All right. Um, yeah, we got to the market late last night to try and sell our butter and our cheese. <laughs> so we left it on the truck. That's probably not good since it ought to be refrigerated. But anyway, that's kind of what we had to do. Um, so the truck's sitting here. Gosh, I don't even know if I should turn off the lights yet. <laughs> it's still dark. <laughs> <clears throat> and come out open up the gate at least uh, so yeah we got the truck sitting here we've also got the combine we brought it down it needs work and somebody mentioned in the comments that hey aren't you you losing yield because your uh combine needs maintenance and they were absolutely right now i don't know if it needed it when i went up there or if we just worked it so hard that it ended up you know wearing down some but it does need uh some maintenance actually we're going to need to do that so we can move it out of the way get to the milk trailer and take some milk up to the dairy so let's i guess we're gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance here in the dark let's get that done so it's gonna cost us ooh, that's ominous 666 euros to fix the combine itself and then our new corn header needs what is it 27 is all okay so there that's that's taken care of oh i guess i shouldn't open the gate yet if i'm gonna put the harvester away where am i gonna keep this corn header i don't know all spaces. Obviously can't leave it on there. like more flat space to store stuff uh, put a building in or something there's a couple that came out recently i think it's called medium garage a couple of them that looked like they would fit here i mean fit in um problem i have is i don't have any space really to fit it so we're gonna put it kind of over here by the chicken coop which kind of park it in the tall weeds here if I can and uh, yeah pull this around see if we can put it away without messing anything up too much let's see pull over by the light and then let's try and back it around I think we got it in there. 
Oh, I'm hitting the bicycle though. It's not one thing, it's another, right? There's just not much space to work here. I think that's it. Um, be nice to be a little further over to the to my left, I guess it would be. There, I think that's I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. There we go. Okay, so the bike's out of the way. And we can open this back up. So I was going to go for uh, milk. I think we got like 3,000 liters uh, available in here, at least. And we might have two trips. So it's probably time... I don't know how many of our cows are actually producing milk. I think only about 16 of them, but we got 40. So once they all st start producing milk, we might need a bigger milk trailer. Since this one will only hold 1,600, we don't want to have to make multiple trips every single day. But I guess once we get to the point where we're doing one full trip every single day, that's when we can start worrying about it. Let me look at the animal menu here real quick. See what we got in here. So here we are. We've got 3791 liters of milk in here. So we can get that. Uh, we're down pretty low on food. And I think somebody brought up and it's probably time to start thinking about something bigger for food mixer. How's our food? Oh, we just fed the chickens. So they're fine. Uh, this only holds, what, 2,500 liters? If we're consuming that much every day, I'm going to take some time and try and fill this up completely and get a feel for how much food our cows are actually consuming because if, you know, if it's not able to keep up with the daily, daily requirements, we probably need to do something about that. So let's get in the... I'm going to take this one just because it's easier. Somebody said you can put a front loader on here. Uh, and I'm sorry that I don't remember who said what. Uh, I wish I could give you a shout out. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's a good thought. But I think I'd like to have a dedicated vehicle up there at the dairy to support moving the uh, pallets once we start producing. Uh, I thought maybe I might be able to be sneaky and get away with using the T25 up there, but as we saw yesterday, the way that thing behaves with pallets, it's probably not going to be a good idea. So, um, I guess turn the light on, yeah. I think getting a dedicated forklift would probably be the way to go. So we're going to have to keep my eyes out for that. I think I'm going to have to load one. Because um, I don't want the, like the Manitou, like is it the uh, shop? I don't want that one. I don't want an electric one. So I might have to find a mod to load. Anyway, let's run this milk up there. We'll come back, we'll get a second load, and we'll run up there. And then I was thinking, what am I going to do about these fields? The field to my left, and I've probably talked about this before, and I don't remember. i got too many series going on, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, the one to my immediate left, I think about doing potatoes in. It's got two state fertilizing states on it already. I must have spread manure and slurry. Um, so the one to my 
immediate left here we put slurry on it still needs to be cultivated not sure what I want to do with that one we can still plant wheat and then this one down here I want to put corn in has not yet been cultivated has no fertilizing states and what I'm thinking about doing with that one is I'm thinking I'm gonna put um, oil seed radish in it's not a lot going on right now I don't think there's contracts that can be done not many at least so uh, yeah that may be what we do today Let's see if I can get in here quick before it gets here there we go when I go back I'm gonna go by the market see if they're there yet so I can go they get those products delivered. I should probably make that a morning routine to go take the products to the uh, market. Not something I try and do at the end of the day like I did. So that's going to come out there. I'm going to turn these on again. I had to turn them on because we were out of stuff. Had no milk to be able to do the processes. So we'll go by Targ, the outdoor market, see if they're there yet and set up. And what we'll do is we'll probably get the second load of milk. They should be there by now. It's 8-12, 8-13. We'll go get a second load of milk, take it up to the dairy, and then we'll take the uh, butter and cheese to the market and sell it. Yep, I see canopies, so they're up. They're up, they're open, people are there, it's bustling, that's good. That's what we want to see. going to get second load of milk. Fill it up. I don't know what point is that going to be too little. I think two trips a day. Once we hit two trips a day, we'll probably need to do something about the tanker trailer it'd be nice if they had some kind of small European truck like that had a tanker trailer on it. I'll have to look, check the store stuff. Um, I don't remember there being something. Oh yeah, the one truck, but it had like these two tanks on the back. Kind of looked weird, but yeah, that would work. Could work. I don't know what the capacity was on that. I don't remember. the farm. Let's see. What are we going to do? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to take the truck and sell the butter and the cheese. I 
Then I think we'd probably turn the lights off. Well, we could probably do that now. We'd probably turn the yard lights off when we get back. Sun's coming up now. Still a little dim in the in the yard though. I'm going to hook up to the feed mixer and pull it out so I remember that I want to do some, <laughs> I want to make some feed today. Alright, go ahead and turn this light off, we can close that. I'm just going to close this for now. Turn this light off. And turn off the porch light. Now, let's see if we can get the truck out. I don't know if I can turn that corner good sound. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to need the T25 back down here, so because I'll need the bucket to make the total mix ration. I need the, oh, the silage is in the trailer. Where's the trailer? Going to need that. Oh yeah, we're fine. Crank that around. I think this has got a good horn on it. Yep. the right height. Yep, good. <laughs> I was afraid we were going to be like too high and it wouldn't sell or something. Okay, so we got 6,000 euros for that. Nice. this and we'll park up at the dairy. Grab the T25, we'll head back to the yard, put the bucket on it. We'll mix up some feed for the cows. And then we'll probably get on some field work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, oh, close to that. Concrete barricade there. Jersey barrier, what do you call them in uh, <laughs> other places? All right, there we go. Let's get to T25. Back to the yard here. We need to put the bucket on. Oh, man, I need more tractors. Our doors not working. There we go. I need the bucket, right? I think the door. <laughs> Pull the pins out, okay, there we go. What the heck's going on? I'm having a heck of a time. There we go. Gotta be on the right tool. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to need some bales and I'm going to need to get this trailer out, I think, right? Yeah, it's got the silage in it. So let's see, I need... Need three hay and one straw.
And that'll be enough to mix two. Two mixer wagons, and that's only going to be 5,000 liters of feed. But that'll probably be all we're going to do for now. I'll come back and do more later, probably. Just because I'm going to have to. Let's see. I think the T30 will work with that, I suppose. Still think I need to get rid of this one, though. Looks good, but it's not particularly useful. I guess, maybe for this. See, it's going to be on tip side right, I think. I got to get the cover off. Cover back. And then... <clears throat> I want to dump some. Not too much. Crank it, crank it. There we go. That's the beauty of the the dolly trailer, though. You can turn around pretty quickly. All right. So here's what we gotta do. Let's fire this up. Gonna engage the PTO on the mixer. We need to put one of these, and I need to pull up what do I need to pull up? Info menu, I think, right? Or the field info. That'll let me see the volume remaining in the bale so we want to put half of this one in so we want to get it down to about 300 and then pull it out that's pretty darn close 294 and then straw we want half the straw we want it to go down to about 350. Oh, overdid it. That's all right. And then we're going to hop in here. And get the silage. which we dumped on the floor here. Probably should have put more. I don't know how much is going to be down here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna need more for the next one. Shouldn't take all of it. Yeah. Take a good portion of it, but not all of it. Okay. So, let's back this in. Let's feed the cows. All right, we'll pull forward and repeat the process. And this time we'll Watch it. This will be about five feet for the cows is all. Won't be very much. that off pull back out we'll check see what's going on check see what it's what it says so it's back in the green but it didn't move too much so yeah there's definitely could could use a lot more feed than that but that's good for now we did something. All right, let's uh, let's put this solid away for now. Um, yeah, I'll take it around to the back side, swing it in again. Now that I'm using the T30, it's like, ah, it's so cool, though. It's useless for anything other than maybe pulling a little trailer around. <laughs> uh, I was planning a trip to Osada to get rid of it, but you know what? Maybe I'll just keep it.
That was interesting. I did get in far. Ah. Did I get in far enough? I really parked it close to the door. It's all right. <clears throat> oh my God, it's almost 11. go ahead and check used equipment I don't know if I want to get an early lunch though I don't know. let me check the used equipment nothing we can use so yeah there's no contracts to speak of either so I'm going to have an early lunch and then we'll get out in the field and uh, get back to doing some work. So let's see what I got here in the fridge. See you in a bit. All right, so it's 12.15 now. Uh, we got something to eat. And we're going to get back out there, get back on it. We're probably two-thirds th two of the way through the episode right now. So maybe with some uh, creative editing and some time lapses, we can... Uh, get some more work done and packed into this action-filled episode. What was I going to do? I need to cultivate, and I was going to drill uh, oilseed radish. Why is that open? Because I got the T30 out. I need this open because I need the seed drill, not the planter. Let's move the planter. Will the planter hook up to the T30? I don't know. If I had level ground, this tractor would probably be more useful, but... It's a shame that I'm not on level ground. I, like... So I can get to the seed drill. I'm going to grab the uh, big blue. Yamsi, that's it. I still got my, still got my field info open. I'll have to close that once I get, get a chance, get the opportunity. Um, so I'm looking for the cultivator. Yeah, I can't mulch that field. On this map, for whatever reason, I can't mulch the wheat textures. All right, so which one is it? It's gonna be this one, right? Over here. Fold that up. I need to check the map, make sure I don't need to do lime or anything like that. Okay, so I'm in my map here. Let's come back here. Go down, needs lime. Uh, doesn't look like it. And we mulched that one there. Yeah, we did. Okay. We should be all right then. So we should be able to just get over here and start um, cultivating this field. gonna bring it's gonna bring up stones what size stones is it gonna bring up there are people who advocate for plowing fields just because it keeps you from getting 
weeds. Let's It's a thought. Look at the size of those stones. Yeah, I'm gonna pick those off. Great. Yeah. More work. What I need to do is I need to I need to see if those will roll in. I don't think they will though, they look too big. They look way too big to roll in. So I'm gonna have to try and get a couple headlands around this field and yeah, definitely gonna have to pick stones. This, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what? That's another process. I didn't think about that. So I'm gonna have to pick stones. I don't know if I'll get to drilling today or not. It's okay. I think as long as I get it done in November, I'm all right. I wonder. Thank you for stopping. I wonder if I could get a worker to help me. If I could go get the stone picker. And get started on the stones. While well, the worker plowed the, or cultivated the field. They're pretty big sized stones. I don't think they're rolling back in, that's for sure. What are we putting in this field? Corn, right? Articulated tractor. <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm using an articulated tractor. They are a pain in the buttocks. Mainly because I don't use them often. So, turn early, recover early. That's what you gotta remember. Too high of an angle. <laughs> Doesn't look good. All right. The only thing to do is start a time lapse, I think. Stones, I hate stones.
So that's the field cultivated. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up. We're gonna leave it on the back of here because we may end up needing to cultivate this other field. But the next step for this field is we've got to pick those stones off of there before we can drill it. They're too large to deal with. And then we're gonna drill it with uh, oil seed radish. We'll go ahead and we'll leave that right here for now. I'm gonna have to go across to Pat's and borrow her stone picker. Yeah, this is kind of snowballing on me. Should be the only hiccup in this plan, I think. Afternoon, November 2. Uh, drilling today is probably going to be wishful thinking, but we'll see. the fact that you gotta drive backwards with this thing, but no easy way around it. Sorry, I should just go ahead and start time lapsing this because this is just not a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> should, I talk, should I jump cup or time lapse? I don't know.
right, so we got, what, 1,400 liters of stones <laughs> we're full up. We'll go dump these. And, uh, yeah, get back over there and do some more. <laughs> A lot of stones. A lot of stones on this field. I guess it is the largest field we've ever done. I'm not sure this will be interesting. How? Alright, so we half filled the stone fork uh, on the top half of the field. So, yeah, there's quite a few stones in there. So, what, 1400 plus another 720 or something like that? Yeah. So, what's that? Like 2100 liters of stones. I'm going to hang on to Pat's stone fork till the end of the month, end of November, just to get around to cultivating that field at the top of the hill behind the dairy. I don't know where to put it though. I'm going to put it here next to the I'll put it here. I think I'm gonna go ahead. It's it's what four o'clock in the afternoon. It's gonna start getting dark. I know that. So uh, I think I'm not. I'm gonna call it for working in the field. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some time. We're gonna mix up more feed. Um. and try and fill this up. So that's how I'm gonna spend the rest of the day. Pull in here, grab this. Pull it out. But I think this is where I'm gonna leave you. Um, open that again. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me here in Colonia at the old Polish farm. If you enjoyed it hit that like button if you don't subscribe yet why not it don't cost nothing we'll see you uh at the end of november